Hello everyone and welcome to my ridiculously large haul video. So I uh, kind of stopped crafting for a little while back in April when I was finishing up the build on the winery and then getting the winery open and running it off the ground. Um, so I've been collecting a lot of things. Um, this does not even include my subscription kits. But I, and then Stamp Timber came along with some says stamp and then holiday releases and I bought and it's just been stockpiling and so now I have a chance to finally do a haul video. So we're just going to knock out all the miscellaneous stuff and then another video we'll look at some of the kits that I've got stacked up over here. Okay, so let's start with uh, some uh, distressed things. So I got the new Distress Prize Ribbon and the Oxide and um, the Glaze and the regular uh, Spray Stain. I didn't get the regular in this because I only get the regular in the small ones. So I'm going to wait until they put out the next round of small ones. And... Um, and I've just been collecting the regular stains. I haven't been collecting the oxide stains. So that is the new color that I got. Um, I got the new re release packs of the crayons that include um, the last six new colors. Um, as far as uh, other ink, oh, I'm going to wait on that one because I got a Gina K pile. Okay. I got, this is the only stencil in my pile. And I just thought this was really cool. The moon in two different or three different sizes. And so I've seen a lot of really cool makes with these for Halloween as well as Christmas. So um, we'll be doing some stuff with those. Okay, now we're going to do some Halloween stuff. So the Distress Bundle for Halloween included um, this texture set of Grave Texture Paste and Crypt Grip grit paste and then um, this is the sparkle set in nightfall glitter in midnight mica flakes probably wouldn't have normally I got this but I just I got the kit anyway and then the mica stains in jack-o-lantern uh, empty tomb flickering candle hocus pocus crooked broomstick and bubbling cauldron so I think these are going to be um, a lot of fun with some Halloween makes that I am going to get on real soon. I have recently done some Whimsy Stamp um, Halloween things because uh, I was a guest designer in August for Whimsy. And so that stuff, I had one release um, on the 9th, uh, one release on the 12th, and then um, part of the blog hop that starts on the 15th I believe so I got those Halloween projects but I'm gonna do some more because I forgot I got all these fun um, Tim Holtz Sizzix brand uh, die sets so there's this one here with all the funny little witches in the cauldron this pumpkin set this is part of the colorized line so this has nine dies in it this one has 12 dies in it I thought these candles are super cool, and they don't really have to be Halloween. You can dress these up to be Christmas or any other kind of time. Fifteen dies, nine dies in this one, eight dies in this set, and then I just thought this guy was too cool. Eleven dies in this set. He's another color eyes. Okay, so that's that's it for Halloween. Okay. So let's do Christmas holiday. And I think Simon sent me this because I spent so much money with them lately. But it's really cute. I like it. Okay. So the Christmas distress bundle and these mica stains. You got holly branch, snow flurries, winterberry, tree lot, frosted juniper, and peppermint stick. And then in these, you have a texture set that is icicle crackle paste and snowfall grit paste. And then in the sparkle set, you got tinsel glitter, garland glitter. Okay, so that's it for that distress bundle. And then 
there were several things in the Stampers Anonymous release that I just I couldn't resist. So I really liked these it's called holiday things. And I think these are things that, that was released before, but in larger sizes. But I really like these because I love making tags. These are perfect sizes for tags. So got that. And then I just love the boldness of these uh, sentiments. So bold tidings mini. So these can also be put on tags or inside of cards, outside cards. Okay, and then Jolly Santa. I just I thought this was really cool. That big Santa is really cool. Okay, and then oh, these I think were so pretty. And great sentiments along with these. Cozy Christmas. And then the makes I've seen with this. This was the Stamp Timber release for Tim Holtz. So cool. The uh, moon stencils, the sleigh flying in front of the moon. It's just really cool. So we're going to be making cards with these soon. Okay. So next let's move on to some other dies that I picked up. So this is a Sizzix 3D Impresslet. I think that these were on sale. That's why I got this. It's a 3D embossing folder that also cuts. And it cuts this really cool frame. So there's lots of neat things you can do with these if you do them out of um, like the Tim Holtz Craft Metallic Paper and use crayons on it. So cool. And I thought these leaves were really cool for fall cards. And then this is called a switchlet. And there's different rings that you can, it's three dies in here, and they're different types of rings. And I saw some really cool uh, tags made with this. So we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. It's kind of confusing, but I think it's going to be really cool. Um, big scripty hugs. I just thought this little hug style was cute. So you can see the size of that. You get the shadow layer and the scripty. And then this on fawn happy birthday to you. I just love the size of this. I thought that was great too. Okay, so that's it for dies. Miscellaneous dies. Um, I got this uh, Susie Plantamora um, watercolor set. Let me get this open. It is called Susie's Fruit Puns. I think this was also on sale. You are very appealing. If I were, if you were a fruit, I'd be a fine apple, <laughs> or you'd be a fine apple. That's funny. You are sweet inside and out. Orangey glad we're friends. I'm so grateful for you. We make quite a pair. You're the apple of my eye. You've got a peach in, of a heart, of my heart. You've got a peach of my heart. You're one in a melon. I just thought they were funny. Like I said, they were on sale at the time I was shopping in Psalm. So I just thought that was cute. Okay, um, this is the Art and Precious Stamp Timber Exclusive. So for all of you that got that, we'll be making cards with this. I can show you some inspirations. And then I got some Inside Sentiment Stamp Sets. These are from Sweet and Sassy. And this is birthday innies for kids. So like, happy birthday little one. May your special day be full of hugs, laughter, and fun surprises. So just good ones for kids. This one is just birthday innies for adults. Lots of people are thinking of you on your birthday. Just wanted to let you know I'm one of them kinds of things. So great stuff for insides of cards. And then this one's a CZ Design Sassy Insides too. You've seen me at my worst and been there for me every time. Well, almost every time. I know, I can be fairly obnoxious. I hope I die first because living in a world without you would totally suck. <laughs> she just always has some funny stuff. 
Okay, so next we're going to move on to Gina K. And I really like Gina K inks. They're good stamping inks. And so I got a couple of her color sets. I got the Winter Collection and the Autumn Collection. And then I got some Amalgam ink. And as I've just been trying to... Um, works with alcohol markers, colored pencils, and watercolors. I've just been exploring different black inks. Um, and then I got this new uh, Reef Builder template. You can do three different sizes. I've been wanting a, one of her wreath, wreath builders and I hadn't gotten one yet, but then when the, she, this one came out and it had multiple sizes in it, I thought, okay, this will be the one that I'll get and start playing with. Okay, so that's it for inks. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is move along to Honeybee Stamps. And uh, this was my uh, freebie with order. I don't know what the name of this little one is. Be Young. Well Wishes. Okay. I just thought these little hedgehogs were adorable. And you get the front and back, so if you want to do spinners, you could do that. And that would be really cute. Oh, and I just loved the patchwork pumpkin. I thought that was really cool. So yeah, got to do some stuff with that pretty soon. And then a charcuterie board. Okay, so I make cards for the winery. What better things to have on a card at the winery than a charcuterie board? Because we have a very good one. Um, okay, I just love the watering can. The flowers I thought were very pretty. Uh, garden harvest florals. I have some of the the pickup truck um, dies and stamp sets and this is things that you can put in the back of the pickup trucks and the dog. Totally cute. Sunflowers, corn stalks, like the milk can, the basket of apples, hay bale, more corn. Totally cute. Okay, and then I got this uh, stamp set layering and this is the layering guide for these flowers that are called bold botanicals so you can do silhouettes or you can do colors i got the this is are the dies that goes with this stamp set and then i got some standalone dies this is the it's a flower card up there. oh bicycle builder this is the bicycle builder this is the flower cart, or market cart, uh, and then here's a board that you can use with the charcuterie. And then this is a uh, just a cover plate, and I just thought it was really pretty with the leaves and the acorns to do. It's called Autumn Splendor for do for uh, the fall. And the this is the die set that goes with the, the patchwork pumpkin. There, the patchwork pumpkin. And then I just thought these were really cool frames to use for sentiments. Um, this, I guess since I spent so much, they gave me the die set to go along with that little free one. And then this right here is an envelope die set for a mini slimline. Okay. So that is my ridiculously huge haul. Uh, I will be back soon with uh, a look at some of the kits that I have collected over the time. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.